the men's 4x400 metre relay finalist waited patiently. Lane number seven will be India. Mohamed Anas Yaya. He'll kick us off. Silence falls across Alexander Stadium. And now it erupts to a roar as we get underway on the first leg. Running, back, running lanes, of course. Trinidad and Tobago going well. St. Helier on the first leg for them. Jamaica moving nicely with Bartley down the back straight. Botswana as well in lane number four. Remember the fastest qualifiers for this final. Leungo Scotch on the first leg for them. So a full way round in lanes. We've got four pairs at the moment, haven't we? In terms of formation for this men's 4x4 final. Kenya moving nicely. Makobi, who was fourth in the 400 metre hurdles on the first leg for them. And here comes the first change over, Tim. Let's see who's in the lead in this final. Always hard to judge, Kat, but a brilliant leg from Dwight San Hilaire there of Trinidad and Tobago on the opening leg. Tell you what, Botswana in the blue in lane four, aren't they? But it is Trinidad and Tobago. Asa Guevara on this second leg for them. Breaks from lanes, he has a couple of metres on about four teams. There's still a pack hunting him down. He's got to run smart this second half of this one, Kat. He has indeed, but this is good for Trinidad and Tobago. A four-metre lead over Jamaica. Nathan Allen on their second leg for them. Botswana currently in third. Zimbani and Godsey on the second leg for them. Here come Kenya, though. Strong on that second leg. And Barbados as well, closing on this second leg for the changeover. Trinidad and Tobago take over in the lead. Jamaica second, Botswana third, Barbados fourth, Kenya fifth, Nigeria sixth. That's the way they go. They're all still in the hunt. The gaps are not big. Mile run. And Trinidad and Tobago catch with Marcelo Cedeno on this one. Maybe relinquishing the lead, or are they? No, he's battling off the third leg run of Javon Powell there as they go through 200. Well, it's going to be a tasty final leg. Remember, Trinidad and Tobago have Jareem Richards, the 200-metre champion, stepping up, and he's a 44-second runner. Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, Botswana, a superb run by Anthony Pacella of Botswana. The hands are held high by the outgoing runners. Botswana now pop into the lead. Well, that's probably the perfect position, Kat. Wouldn't you always want to be a metre or so down on the leader rather than behind him? But he's not hanging about. Jareem Richards, the 200 champion, has blasted straight past the, the final leg runner for Botswana by Apo and Dorley and into the lead, and he has a couple of metres with 200 to run. Jareem Richards in the final 200 metres, looking around. He's cool, he's calm. He's got such good speed endurance, but Botswana are saying, uh -uh. Dory onto his shoulder. Trinidad and Tobago. Botswana battling for the gold medal. Kenya have come into the bronze medal position, passing Jamaica. But Jareem Richards, easy as you like. 301.30. A brilliant run by the Trinidad and Tobago team. They were set up perfectly for Jareem Richards to dance around Alexander Stadium and pick up the gold medal for Trinidad and Tobago. Botswana pick up the silver. Wow, what a brilliant end, Tim. Our final track event for the male athletes here and a superb run by Trinidad and Tobago. Proof as if it were ever needed that the 4x4s raise the roof. The 4x1s are spectacular, but they're over in 40 seconds and less. This goes on for over three minutes, and the crowd can roar them on lap after lap for the mile of running. Trinidad and Tobago winning from Botswana and Kenya. What a final leg from Moresa. That was astonishing. I'm dying to see the splits. He was. He was flying to Moesa for Kenya. He was fourth in the individual 400 metres and just missed a medal. But that's brilliant. Absolutely.